If you ask yourself what to do if I don't know what career I want, or what to do if I don't have any goals, then be sure to tune into this video as we look at how to find purpose in life, and how to set goals for yourself. Today, many people struggle with the feeling that there is something that they lack, whether it be money, work related, or perhaps finding their ideal partner. The truth is, most of us struggle with this at times, and it can lead to a sense of missing something in life, or a lack of meaning. The problem with this is the consequences it can have on our mental health, increasing anxiety or unease, disappointment and in a lot of cases, can lead to severe depression for the individual. This isn't hugely shocking either when you consider that humans are navigating creatures by nature, meaning it's built within us to seek something and move towards it. Another way to look at it is we're goal orientated. In the past, when in the wild, this would have been predominantly focused on food and shelter, but today with those things generally being readily available, we seek other goals in life. The problem is, when you don't know which direction you're headed in, it can lead to a sense of feeling lost, just as captain of a ship would be lost if they didn't have a destination. And look, it's a common problem and nothing to be ashamed of. For example, I've had a number of times in my life where I felt uncertain about what direction I wanted to move towards, or ultimately what I should do with my life. One such moment was when I was in my teens and approaching early adulthood, as at this time I had to make a choice on what subject I should focus in on for a potential future career. The fact is, during this time I wasn't sure what to do in my life, and frankly wasn't that confident in myself, and to add to the problem, I didn't really have much guidance around me. In truth, my parents tried to offer what they could, but with limited experience themselves, didn't really have any clear advice. Nor did I have other people in my life, mentors or people who I could look up to, that could help me make a decision. Fundamentally, I was lost. If like me you're lost in what you should aim for and which direction you should head towards, don't worry. There's a process that can help you consider how to find a purpose in life and strive towards a goal. So, let's look at the process. The first thing you want to do is reflect on your past and present circumstances, as often clues are to be found in what you consider meaningful to you, based on your experiences. Here, you can look at important events, whether they be important in the direction they took your life in, or whether they're important to you emotionally. Many of these events will have shaped you to feeling satisfied with where you are today or whether you feel a lack of satisfaction, and therefore counterproductive to you being where you want to be. By understanding what decisions you're grateful for or have regret over, you can start to draw up a picture of what you want more of, and what you want to change about your life. And look, this process isn't easy, so if necessary, it's good to seek professional help to help guide you through it. By identifying those areas of your life you feel a lack of satisfaction in, you can start to identify your goals and ambitions, as principally ambitions and lacking are a mirror of each other. You see, people seek what they don't have and travel to reach a destination they haven't reached. For example, some people seek money having grown up in poverty, and others seek to build a family having come from a broken home. For some, they want both having been grown in poverty and in a broken home. From here, you will have identified your goals and ambitions you seek to strive towards and fundamentally define a purpose that's meaningful to you. So, if we take my example of my teen years from before, as mentioned I was generally lost and felt a lack of confidence in myself. When I reflected back on my personal experiences, I remembered that one of the most valued experiences I had was actually to teach both of my parents to use computers. I knew I wasn't technically incompetent, even if not a genius by any means, but equally I felt a sense of validation and confidence in me that genuinely helped me feel better about myself. Based on this experience, I chose to actually go into computing and continue to work in software development until today, and until now it's served me pretty well. However, one thing that I misunderstood at the time is I chose my subjects and eventual career path to be in IT because I thought I had competency and technical skills. In reality, the reason I actually drew on that experience as the inspiration for my choices in life was actually because of the acceptance and appreciation I felt from my parents. So today, I don't actively focus on as much technical work as I did in the past, and have remained in a consultancy role as opposed to purely development, because here I can directly help and benefit people just as I did with my parents as a teen. That's the real purpose I've found, it's not about being competent in a skill, but being able to make a difference in another person's life. And today, this purpose or goal is something I continue to explore and work on, 
as I set up this channel on YouTube for that reason and I've set myself goals to further offer value to people through other mediums. And all of this, finding a sense of meaning and purpose and defining clear goals on the back of them is something you can do too.